I redid my little bedside table. It's actually a shelf that I use as a bedside table. I've got these bumpers on here so I don't hit my head, but I've got some of my favorite things, some flowers that my man's given me that are all dried up, but I still enjoy it. Horses, a little tea light candle. Gotta have that sound machine to go to sleep. Gotta have this every day. And I love this quote, act as though it were impossible to fail. That's nice to wake up to. The bedroom trying to get some things organized. And I'm gonna use these sticky notes I got from the dollar store for my shoes. You ever have a shoe box and you just forget what's in there? All right, this one is the, nope, it's this one. Look at these, aren't they cute? Sometimes having just a little extra height really makes an outfit. That's gonna help me remember what's in these boxes. I always love having paper and you'll see the price tags on these little journals. I pick these up from the thrift store and I try to wait until they're half off or 75% off. I do think I got these for full price, 50 cent. They're really neat. It's cute. So I've got like a combination of shoes and office type supplies here. Okay, that works great. That's gonna be so much nicer to have the office supplies here. Shoes there. Now I've got this free spot. These little boxes, geez, probably 10 or 15 years. What's in here? Oh, my sewing kit. Oh, well, that fits well. Sticky note keeps falling off. I don't think these dollar store sticky notes stick real good. Just added a little tape right there and that fixes it up. I moved my mirror and put my little special lamp here and I've got all my woodland creatures in here so they'll glow at night. I think it looks real cute. Thank you everyone for watching my thrift store haul video where I got to show you these beautiful Chelsea house prints. I'm just taking off the price tags. These were the ones that were $6 each and I got them for 75% off. I absolutely love these prints. Look at that, isn't that adorable? Here's the other little dog. I was moving some of my belongings around here and I think I'm gonna put the prints here and here. Let's see how it looks. I like it, but I can't see this one at all. So I'm gonna have to work on this to make it look better. I got too much stuff on here. Well, this is what I got so far. I like it. There's lots of color. There's lots of texture, big variety. I redid this shelf a little bit. I think it looks nice. I like the symmetry of it with the cream pots on either side and the corresponding drawings right there. Plus the candles. The candlesticks are different sizes, so it's a bit asymmetrical, but it still gives the good feel of symmetry. I love my little tea light. I just added some pleats to my curtains by folding over the fabric and reclipping it because when I open these up, sometimes I would have these dips along the curtain clips. I think it looks better. And we're gonna change out the center panel here for this navy blue and see what it looks like. All right, we'll just open this up. Take this down. All right, let's switch this out. I like the color of this curtain because it's that dark royal blue. And I got that color in the rug, but it might be too dark having the black panels plus the royal blue. Not sure how it's gonna look. Let's find out. Okay, let's put this up. Well, what do you think of the curtains? Do you like the blue and the black together? Is that a good combination? Is it too short in the center? What do you think? 
I've got to do something with my office area. I, <laughs> I sound all fancy pants. I have an office. So I've got this green fabric here, but I just, I'm not really feeling it. So I think what I'm going to do is take the curtain that I just took down off the window and arrange it on the table, the dark green color, although beautiful, it's just darkening this corner and I wanna brighten this corner up and illuminate it. Okay, hey, let's get to work. Let's add this. I like the color, but you see how it has the opening right there that you can see underneath the table. I think I'm gonna pull the corresponding curtain out of the bedroom window and put that over just to cover that up. In the bedroom, and this is the corresponding curtain. Look how bright it is. I'm guessing I should bring this down to the floor. Let's see what it looks like. I like this draping right on the floor. Okay, let's add the other curtain. Ooh, I like this. Let's go ahead and flip it all the way over. So I've got the side here tucked and the table put directly up against the wall as far as I can get it. Let's get the whole office back together. I can't forget the Lord. You see how that rocks a little bit? I'm just gonna take this and put it right under there. Hey, this is looking pretty good. I like it, having this fabric around the table. I've got my little office area set up here. I've got Jesus right there. I think I'm gonna do something on this side, but that will be to be continued. Would you use an extra pair of curtains like this on a table? Do you like the storage underneath, being able to hide it? Let me know what you think. Oh, look at this dust. I love these Swiffers. They just fix everything so quickly. I got a hold of this organic mint and I went ahead and put it in a glass jar. So this is day one. I'm trying to root it. We're gonna see if it grows. This is day two of the mint leaves. Not looking good. I changed the container and I added fresh water. Day three of the mint clippings. I don't think it's doing well. Day four of the mint and it's just getting worse. What am I doing wrong? Well, I'm still trying to root this mint. It's not going that great, but I'm not giving up. Well, this is day six and I do not see any roots on the mint. The mint, uh-oh, doesn't look too good. <laughs> Remember the non-dippers? It came in this square container. I just washed it out, still intact. I'm gonna try to do a collection of these. I really like the shape of this container. I know it's disposable and recyclable, but I think I can do something with this. I've got an idea for this. Over here I've got some jars that I reused plus all of the lids, but I don't like how the lids look. So what we're going to do is use this for lid storage. Let's see if all of the lids fit in there. Oh, I love it. Look at that. This is really great because this will keep dirt and dust off of the lids. And if I can get more of these, I can stack them. I think that looks really neat and tidy. If you like this idea, please let me know. Well, let's take a look at the drainage ditch that I dug out. It's working pretty good. You can see the water is flowing. It's not super fast but it'll flow down there and along the side. Okay, I'm trying to make the yard look a little better. The ground is still really wet. It's been several days since it rained. I'm gonna take one of my solar lights. We're gonna move this. We gonna bring it right to the shed. Make it look pretty at night. How 
Okay, I got one more. We're gonna put this over here. Oh, I got some work to do over here. This little patch at the front yard. But look right here. I've got a baby hosta in the ground. I'm gonna dig that up. Look at this plant. It's doing really well. Look at this sky. you what the shed looks like with the two solar lights. Isn't that beautiful? It was recommended to me that I save the coffee grinds and put them in the garden. So I've got this little collection going here. Well, this is a messy job. All right, we're going to set this off to the side for later. Well, let's work on this. So I'm just walking on the fence while I have it flattened out on the ground. That way I can flatten it out even further. And I'm just using my body weight to do this. All right, time to flip this over and put it in the ground. That looks beautiful. I have a white picket fence. I sleep on one side of the bed. It's a mess, but look at this. Pretty. I've got the new $5 blanket from the thrift store right here. Love it. This is gonna be a wonderful springtime comforter. I put my big bulky comforter, like a big bolster pillow. I just rolled it up. So that's in the back right there. I like it. I like the blue and the white. Love all of the colors. Loving it. Look at this. Can you see the pollen that's on this bag? And all the pollen on the porch. This green stuff is everywhere. I'm going back inside. I can't be breathing all that pollen. Well, I got a little bit of rain. Not too much. It's drizzling. But I think I'm going to work on this. Oh yeah, that's a mess. Get the shovel, I've been digging out some weeds. Well, that's what I dug up right there. It's looking a little better. It's not perfect, but it's better. I got to work out. Unless I work out in blue jeans and slippers. I like to do hammer curls, bicep curls. Do what you can with what you've got. It's hard to get started, but the sooner I get started, the better I feel. I want to feel better. I want to feel stronger.
let's head out to the garden. Mr. Turtle, do you need a bath from all that pollen? Got these eggshells that I've been saving and one of the subscribers recommended do not rinse them but to add them directly to plants. So I'm outside and I've got the giant hosta in the ground right there and it's starting to come up. So let's get these eggshells added. you okay? We had a tornado warning late last night. You made it! Yay! Let's check on the indoor plant area here. I've got some things to do. I've got to repot this. Some of the plants are doing really great. The succulents seem to really like this area. This little guy here, I'm trying to root this. This is from the petunia. Thriving, doing fine, but not yet growing roots. Still trying, but look at this one. Look, we have one little yellow flower. Isn't that lovely, gorgeous? And right here, we've got the petunia from the dump. It was thriving, now it's struggling, it's still raining. I'm gonna set this little guy outside. There's still life in this petunia. I'm not giving up, not yet. I've been saving the coffee grinds and, or is it, is it grinds or grounds? I'm just gonna add it directly to the plant. I don't know if I'm doing this right. You tell me, I don't know enough about gardening to know if this is proper. If it is, let me know. If I'm doing it the wrong way, let me know. really enjoy discount stores. Let me show you what I got at my family dollar. So we're gonna go from most expensive to least expensive. The Expo markers were $5. The solar lights were $1.25 each. The little sticky notes was a dollar. It's multi-pack, multi-color. And then this chalk marker, I've never had one of these, but I thought that would be really neat to try. It was on sale for 50 cents. Pretty good finds. All right, these solar lights, we're gonna put these, oh, <laughs> it just came apart. Dollar store, we're gonna take these outside. I might have to cut these labels off, golly. That's, it's like tape. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Let's take this off. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. It works. I had to get the scissors. Man, they put this on real good. This is not frustration-free packaging. I can tell you that right now. All right, let's take these outside. All right, I think we're gonna put them in here. That's gonna be pretty at night. Did I show you the flowers my man got me? I've had these for a couple weeks and they're still doing pretty good. I'm just removing some of the pieces that need to go. Well, I had a lot of fun making this video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you had any favorite parts to this video, please let me know what it was. I'm trying to do more gardening when it's super hot and it gets super hot in the South. I do not go out there and work, <laughs> so, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Well, tell me what you're going to be doing this weekend. I'm going to be making a video for you, so <laughs> our next video comes out on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a food pantry haul video, and if you like that sort of thing, please stick around, and to all of the new subscribers, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. 
to all of the returning subscribers. I appreciate your continued support and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.